Submerge the jetpack. Welcome back, people of YouTube, to another video. And today we are continuing working on, like, other random stuff. And as you can see, as I turn into a bat, the I've been digging away this mountain, and it so that we can like put our house here. It's kind of like in my way, I I I, I guess. So today I have a few things planned, like ten or or something. So the first thing is to make electric an electrolytic core which let's just make that and then put it in here and it makes an electric uh, electrolytic separator I don't even know if I'm saying that right but it's another machine we need and an electric pump and the next one is two gas tanks and this is a jet pack which we need to put the gas tank in there just tin steel and control circuit jetpack this one is a basic energy cube this one is an advanced energy cube this one is an elite energy cube and this one is an ultimate energy cube now that I got eight things out of the way we can continue on up here this is some basic universal cable let's make those you surround the basic universal cables around enriched alloy which gives you advanced universal cables and then you put these advanced universal cables around a reinforced alloy and it gives you an elite universal cable which is even more powerful also we're gonna make the charge pad and the free runners now that I got like 10 things out of the way let's go get our our cool tool which allows us to pick up everything, all these machines. Yes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out these co uh, cables. Yeah. Wow, it's it's lagging so much right now. Let's, okay, let's place down these cables. And as you can see, they're filled up with power. Then we can plug them up to our ultimate energy cube. Then we can place these cables like this going out. Um, there. I'm just going to take it over. There. I'm going to take it over here. And we're going to set up a charging station. Uh, charging station for our jetpack because it uses hydrogen instead of like normal normal like power so let's get out some buckets which have water in them submerge the jetpack and then then we can place the electric pump right here and place that down and as you can see it's taking up the water and it has a tank built in and then we can place the uh, this thing on the back of it and this thing will start to make hydrogen once we power it too and I only er, I only need oh wow the, the troubles of cables I only need the hydrogen for my jetpack so what I'm going to do is just place the gas tank to the side so that once once this gets up to the top it would put it in here but it's already putting it in here and then we can put our jetpack in here and then you could see it says stored hydrogen uh, a growing number I don't know why it says durability 5 out of 100 apparently it loses durability based off the power either that or that's just a a fail in the mod right, making this thing pop up but now that that's running we can put down this charge pad down here and this will basically just charge all of our stuff I think so let's keep an eye on this. Yep, it's charging it. It put it, I put it up to, all, to full power. So you can see, um, let's put our jetpack on um, there, and the free runners on. So whoa, lag. Now we can actually fly around. A 
it also looks really cool. I got I got the full set, not really. Um, I didn't put it on the free runner, so I did. Yeah, so this jetpack looks cool, and yeah, so let's move on to another thing, which I didn't think I was going to go through all these things so fast. So let's go into here. This makes a basic machine, uh, machine, basic machine casing. There we go. And then we can place that at the bottom with iron plate and basic control circuit and emerald. Take that out. We can make a power armor helmet. We can make a power armor chest plate. We can make a power ar some power armor leggings and some power armor boots and a power fist. And there's something here. Oh, that's another energy cube. Um, I, I don't know why I have that there. I guess I forgot about it being here. So, also, our jetpack has different modes. Oh, that, that's, that's quite loud. So there's, you can see in the bottom corner, there's mode disabled, regular, and hover, which basically just keeps it in one spot, but you can see it constantly uses power. Or hydrogen. So let's put our. I don't know if the if the charge pad would be able to put hydrogen in this. I don't think so. But I'll show you this table, which we can place down right there. Looks cool. It it matches my non-existent jetpack at at the moment. Yeah. So you can click on it. And these different things, you can give them like different, different like upgrades and stuff. And you can also change the color and look of them. And let's see what it looks like when we put it on. I'm not gonna keep it on because because it doesn't have any modules, so it doesn't have any protective gear. But you can see it looks kind of the computer is like coming out of my head. Uh, that's that. That means you're clever, right? Remember in episode one when I made this waypoint called Giant Rock? We're now going to dig into the Giant Rock with our super fast digging tool and see if we can find the center because there's a chest in the center which has some stuff that we need to get. I dug until the center and you can see there's a sky uh, sky stone chest has some sky stone and a few uh, a few silicon press uh, silicon presses yeah you can see here's giant rock number two so let's see what's inside so here's another sky stone chest let's see if we have what we need no we need to find another meteorite the next giant rock is right here so let's see what's inside let's see what's inside this one Not enough. We need one more of these things. I decided that I would get the other meteorite stuff off cam, but for now, we need, you know what we need to do. Time to go to the nether. We came out in a safe-ish looking area, but as you probably already know, the nether like never looks safe. So let's see what there is here. There's ash. What are, what are those? I'm, I'm not quite sure, but also in this mod pack there's ores. <coughs> oh, I hear zombie pigmen. He's wanting to attack me. <coughs> okay, there there was only one good thing, but I see like this glowing mushroom thing up here. It looks kind of cool. These things are all smoking, so. I'm just going to avoid them by quickly digging a ton of netherrack. I went to the mushroom and it's called a blue glow shroom. So, oh, it gives me mushrooms itself. Ooh, that, that's fancy. And as you can see over here, there is nether quartz and emerald, but if the ores start to steam, it explodes. Perfect timing. 
So, yeah. There's also another osmium ore. Just stand back just in case it wants to explode. And then we can collect it. I found a new type of bush that I haven't seen before, the duskberry bush, so let's collect it. That's going to have to be it for this episode. If you liked it, push the like button. If you disliked it, push the dislike button. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching. of cables.